I remember the first time we did this podcast, you're like, don't ask me how I I'm know, doing. I know, don't ask me how I'm doing, fam. <laughs> a lie. No, but we were just talking about how Carlos has a theory for everything. Well, I'll, I'll literally say, yo, how's your day? Do you look at the sun today? And you're like, yo, you know that theory? <laughs> <laughs> you know about that theory about the sun? Yo, that's so true, though. And, uh, yo, it's the funniest thing, because people, I've been reading comments, yeah. and they're like, yo, the guy on the right literally does not know any theory. Bro, I 100% guarantee that if you said something about like, oh, do you know the the theory about the Jordan one? They're not going to know about the theory, but the, how, okay, am I supposed yeah. to, how am I supposed to know that? But, but, but our followers, like, they're into that shit, though. They're into the theories and shit. Yeah? Yeah. I guess. So you got to step up your game on the theories, bro. Oh, yeah? Because I, nah, I, I know you came with some game, though. Nah. I know you came with some game. <laughs> you know, you know, I, I, I know he came prepared, boys. No, nah, no. Nah, I'm waiting for it, though. So what would you, would you research about last night? I was in some... See, no. Here's the thing. Here's the difference between me and you. You the look re- up... The YouTube recommendations, right? Yeah. The YouTube <laughs> recommendations are totally different. Because I bet yours is a whole bunch of theories. Mm-hmm. Mine are like... You're like the CEO of theories. I'm like the I can I'm the CEO of like life hacks. Okay, I, I guess. So, so you know some weird stuff like how I, I, I saw something like how to survive the purge, mm-hmm. how to uh, <laughs> how to get free flights, tips and tricks. No, to anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, but since everyone wanted to roast me in the comments saying I don't know anything, I'm not gonna give you the hacks. <laughs> now here, I'll give you two hacks. How, how to I saw how to avoid a crocodile attack. Because <laughs> of your dad, <laughs> yeah. So, so when you're swimming, right? Yeah. When you're swimming in the lake and you see your crocodile behind you, swim, mm-hmm. swim crooked because they turn wildly and they can't catch. Oh, you. that's true. Because mm-hmm. if you swim straight, they're gonna catch up with you. Yeah, bro. I don't think you can outswim any animal though. No, you can. You can. Aren't you a lifeguard? What, what's your? Time? I don't think you can outswim a crocodile though. Yeah. Okay. Even yeah. even if even if you're going crooked. Okay. Yeah. I think I think it's still gonna catch you, but no, like I, no. I think your chances are it's, better. It's, yeah, your chances are better to escape. No, that crocodile's. F- you up though yeah, <laughs> okay. I know. no but see now if you with a shark mm-hmm. the trick is is you just you kick it you kick oh, it yeah, on, no, in the on, eye too right yeah, in yeah. the front and then they get like oh what the hell yeah <laughs> they get discombobulated hit so. him with the tyson bro yeah, just yeah. in the eye oh exactly but his ear off oh wait yeah. sharks don't have ears <laughs> that's a short time. I, why do i agree <laughs> i'm like yeah <laughs> see some, sometimes I'm deals, bro. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's the stuff I look into. Yo, taking we share YouTube though now. Like, what do you mean? Like we we watch. Oh we, yeah, we watch on the same account now. <laughs> Yo, sometimes I be going to your recommendations and it'll be like, um, universe theories, <laughs> parallel universe time traveling. It's so weird. That's the shit I'm into, man. I know. That's the shit that keeps me up at night, though. And and then you see my stuff is like mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's like NBA highlights. Yeah, and NBA shit. highlights. Yeah, like we're totally like Mayweather. Different. Yeah, facts. We're totally different. Oh yeah, I was watching um all the the old Mayweather and Pacquiao fights because mm. I just miss miss fighting, bro. I want to get back in the ring, man. No, for eventually. sure. Eventually, yeah. I've been training a lot recently. Really? Yeah, I've been training a lot, like every day. I know you. You. I remember you uh, showed me that bag, mm-hmm. and that shit is hard to catch a rhythm on. Yeah, and you make it look so easy, like doom, <laughs> doom, doom, doom. and like no, Gavin, just catch your rhythm. Doom, doom, doom. Like if, if anyone, if anyone like practices and practices, you'll get good. No, for sure. But it takes time because it looks so easy at first. Yeah, for sure. But trust me, like you have to find your like anything. Yeah. You have to practice, 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 and then it'll be like butter. Really? Yeah. Trust me. Yeah, It'd be like just like that. Cause and, and this thing too. If if you you told me it's like yo, it was so random. You're like yo, Gavin, do this for me. I was like, why, it's bro? True. You gotta go like that. And, and then it's like, oh, okay, he has hands. You're good. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, what is like? Nah, you can box, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? Cause it's it's all like muscle twitch. I guess. Or what do you call it? Quick twitch muscles. Quick, quick twitch, twitch muscles. Oh, quick quick twitch, twitch muscles. Muscle. That's like a fucking she shells by the she shells. Yeah. Ooh, I'm nice at those. Quick. Twitch muscles, quick twitch muscles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my bio is that reflex too? Would that be considered reflex? I think it's lesser. Yeah, it is reflex. Yeah, it is reflex. But quick twitch is like um, how fast you can re- in a be in a relaxed state, yeah. and then how fast you can. Oh like, move yeah, yeah. From you know those state. arcade games uh, yeah. where it's like where you go like this, and then a button lights up, and then you're like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the speed the speed yeah, touch yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely crush why. you in that. I'll, I'll crush you in DDR though. I what's know. That? I know you don't have it in DDR. What's that? You don't know DDR? Wait, what's hold on? Explain DDR first. Bro, hold on. You made me dance <laughs> on my headphones. Well, no, DDR. Okay, what does DDR stand for? Dance Dance Revolution. Oh, what the hell? Okay, you should have just said that, bro. 
That's it. Everyone calls you it can't. DDR, bro. No. Who call, who goes up? Yo, you want to play some DDR? No. What? Who the f- says Dance Dance Revolution? You don't yeah, you that- you don't pull up to your boy's house and like, yo, you play Dance Dance Revolution? Yes. You play, bro? Did you play DDR? Okay. Remember remember when everyone had the PS2? Yeah. And then I had the, um, it's like the plastic pad. Oh yeah, yeah. It's the DDR <laughs> pad. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, like, yeah. Bare Filipino family. <laughs> no, I had that too. And it was the Wii with the. Wait, wasn't it played on the Wii too? I think it's on everything. Yeah, because I remember playing on the Wii. Because you had mm-hmm. the remote and then you're just going crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, how do you not know DDR, man? I do know DDR. You just said it in a weird way. I never called it DDR. Really? So no, ma- I don't want to see any man in the comments harassing me. <laughs> I know you DDR. said that up for yourself, so no, no, DDR. <laughs> what was that? Um, what, what are the good songs that I always dance to on that? Oh, uh, there's there's a really good one. Um, that everyone knows. It's the. Every time we touch, I yeah, feel yeah, the music. Yeah. Every time no, no, I know that one. If you play the new one, I don't know the Justin Bieber, the Eeny Meeny Miny Moe or something. That wasn't on DDR. It was. It was on. It was on. Maybe like one. the new new the, one. It was the new one. No, that's Just Dance, bro. Okay, then I played Just Dance. You played Just Dance. You're tripping. You never played DDR then. <laughs> no, DDR was like the arrows that go like this. Oh yeah, like this. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. but but man's had those when they had like PS twos. You can buy the the pad yeah for at home. So you plug it into your PS two and you can play like the the triangles and shit. Word. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I did play. It's that. a Guitar Hero with your feet. Okay, yeah. Oh, Guitar Hero. Man's know su- what I'm talking about. Guitar Hero is such a slapper, bro. Yeah. Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> Guitar Hero. Since you used to listen to Bon Jovi, yeah? yeah. No, no, I don't listen to Bon Jovi oh, now. Okay, but like yeah. that was my jam before. Mm. I used to listen to. Bon Jovi, Green Day. Mm. Green Day was... I learned guitar just to play Green Day songs. Oh, wait. Yeah. What's your favorite Green Day track? Um, I don't remember the track, though. But what's like... Boulevard. Most, Boulevard. Boulevard, Boulevard yeah, I knew it. I yeah, knew yeah. it. Boulevard <laughs> That's everybody's juice. Green Day track. <laughs> but yeah, what else is there? I know you don't know any else. Yeah. Mr. Oh, of, of Green Day? Yeah. American Idiot. All right. Um, what's that song called? They play at Graduation. <laughs> graduation. Good, good Riddance. And in the night and then the time of her life. You know oh, that that's that's they play like graduation like all the oh, time. That's Green Day. I I might have butchered the the melody, but it's something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, but, but yeah. Ameri- you know American Idiot. I want me American Idiot. What? How do you not know that track? That was in Simpsons, bro. I don't watch the Simpsons like that. Lo- Loki, you you had a weird childhood then, because I think I think. Your hey, childhood well, went on like a different path than I went yeah. on, even though we're born in the hey, same well, year. What was your childhood like? Well, okay, let's let's go TV shows. What were yeah. your favorite TV shows growing up? Okay, everyone has like kind of the same. No, because mine might be different because I was a weird like. Okay, were you more of a YTV or a Family Channel? I was more of a Family Channel. I didn't watch YTV that much. Oh shit, I was more yeah. of YTV to be honest. To yeah. be honest, but I did I did fuck with Family Channel a lot. But that's like everybody. I mean, yeah. Because I used to watch the Spongebob, Timmy Turner. I mean, uh, Fairly Odd Parents. I didn't even watch Timmy Turner a lot, though. Oh, for the American viewers, <laughs> YTV is more like Nickelodeon. And oh, then yeah. Family Facts. Channel is more like Disney Channel. But Facts. this is like Canadian Facts. television. Yeah. But yeah, I was on... Like, if I'm watching Family Channel, that's more like the later night. Because that's when they play Zach and Cody. Oh, Zach and Cody was my... Hannah Montana. That, that's Family Channel, right? That was Family okay, Channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And they played... Um, the you were one... Oh, That's a Raven. Yeah. Corey in the House, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. But... I was I really like YTV because they used to play, they used to play freaking SpongeBob, Jimmy Neutron. See, I didn't get into Jimmy Neutron. Nah, like no. Because I really like those type of cartoons. I, yeah. I I like less of the sitcoms, more of the cartoons. Oh, word. Well, that's just me. No, I li- I like the cartoons. More. Do you remember Battle Beatemon? No. What the? Fuck? How do you not remember Battle Beatemon? No. That's like a Canadian Canadian classic. Battle of the Beatemon. I you have to show me. Okay, it's kind of like it. you know Yu Gi Oh. Yeah. Oh, are you talking about Digimon? No, not Digimon. I know oh, okay. Digimon too, bro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Battle Beatemon. I don't know. <laughs> this this Why is does like it sound like a Toronto <laughs> saying Beatemon. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but this this is kind of a lost memory. Some people may not remember this. Yeah. It was kind of um. An action figure that shoots marbles. So it would be a table. You would have one of these action figures. I would have one. And then there's like a a target at the bottom of your action figure. If I shoot yours with the marble, because we both shoot mar- marbles yeah, yeah. at each other. Then you would win? Then I would win because your, your shit would like break apart. What? what? When did I never... You never heard about this? No. This was, this was live like SK and JK. Yeah, SK and JK, what I had one. No, nah, did you did you um uh do you know about those uh fuck those bean things that 
Oh, uh, Mighty Beans. The Mighty Beans where you just roll it down <laughs> and you collect them? Yo, trust me, I put... As a kid, I played everything and everything. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna name something. Okay, you probably silly bands. Yeah. Okay. Hundred percent. The Mighty Beans. Um, did you watch? You know that um, right before school in like JK and SK, there was a there was a show that came up that there was an old lady that told nursery rhymes. Did you watch that? I don't know what it's called, but I don't know if you guys remember, but there was always a lady, an old lady on YTV. Ro- yeah, that on a rocking chair on YTV. I was think. it cartoon? Or is it no, TVO? No. It was kind of like it's it was, TVO. It has to be TVO. I th- it might be TVO is actually. Mama Yama. Oh, is it? It might be no. Nah. Uh, but I know Mama Yama. You know Mama Yama, yeah, right? Yeah. Can they, can, only Canadians will get this though, because yeah. TVO is oh, a Canadian that's, thing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Fact, that's fact. Like, oh, yo, twelve percent of our audience is from Canada, bro. <laughs> I know there's it's like only twelve percent. Like that's 88% crazy. Eighty-eight percent from the US. Shout out the US, man. Yo, leave in the comments like what you guys used to yeah, watch. Facts. Because I'm curious. Yeah. Because I feel like everyone watched the SpongeBob's. Everyone watched mm. kind of the Jimmy Neutrons. Because if you look at the memes, all the memes are kind of like that too. Yeah. Do you know um, uh, the guy that got cut off with his head? What was that from? And there's animals. What was that? I forgot the name. Oh, Jamba. It was like, it was something that rhymed. What? <laughs> no, I'm searching. Wait, what Jamba. do you mean guy cut off with his head? Remember, remember there's a narrator where the guy only showed his mouth. G- Gamma. Fuck. What? What are you talking about? Yo Gabba Gabba? Yo, Yo Gabba Gabba. Is it? Yeah, is it Yo, Yo Gabba, Gabba Gabba. Yeah, yeah. Where the, there, was a, there was a black dude and the guy and the, it's, oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah, was yeah, cut yeah. off in his head. Yeah, I think everyone watched that one. Yeah. Well, what's, what's the US network? Because we have Treehouse, but... Treehouse oh, is Canadian. Oh, no, no. That, that nursery rhyme thing was on Treehouse. Oh, it was on Treehouse? Yeah, my bad. It was on Treehouse. Oh, it's um, Big Comfy Couch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, what that's the like heck? an old lady, bro. That's, that's, no, it she's is. She's a kid. Like, she looks older, but she's a kid. Oh, but yeah, yeah. I used to watch that before school all the time. I'm telling you, bro, anything, I know it. <laughs> you remember that, um, that, that staple Canadian commercial with the hippo? Yeah, of course. <laughs> the house hippo. Yeah. <laughs> Second, I didn't watch. Um, it's like the house hippo yeah, lives yeah. in your house. <laughs> what was it advertising again? It was um, it was just a PSA for PSAs, I think. Oh, yeah, PSA for PSAs to pay attention to like PSAs or some shit. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah, it, that was me. one of the first PSAs we ever seen, though. I know. Yeah, it was, oh, it was and, that one and the and the running. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out. that's where I got this from. Yeah, yeah sir. The running. Um, it's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was that about again? It was like. It was about um, being in shape. Oh yeah, because the Always kid because um, kid was running away from the shorties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was out of breath. Yeah. Yo, but you know what? The kid was running after the ice cream truck. No, he wasn't. He was running. Wait. Wait. Are you sure? No, nah, wasn't he chasing an ice cream truck? No, he was. There was an ice cream truck, but I think he was running away. He was running away Yo, from Mandela the effect. Mandela. I was just gonna <laughs> say that Mandela. Nah. Wait. <laughs> Was he chasing an ice cream truck? I don't think so. I think he was. Oh, no, I, re- I, th- I think there's two parts. I think the first part, he was chasing an ice cream truck, and then the shorty saw him, and then he ran away from the shorty. Hold on. This might be a Mandela effect still. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no. You no, might- he was chasing no, no, an ice cream truck. No, 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 no. You might think it was an ice cream truck because of the... Dun, 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 but it wasn't actually an ice cream truck. Ah, but... I remember he missed the ice cream truck and then that's why the shorties caught up with him. But that makes no, but that sense. Makes no sense, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna watch it right now. Alright. It's okay guys, I ate lunch today, so I'm ready for all the conspiracy theories. He wasn't chasing ice cream truck. Yeah, I told you. It was cause the song made you think that he was chasing some ice cream truck. No, but I remember seeing an ice cream truck in the video. That's the <laughs> thing. Though. Rock, you remember, I remember that too, too, right? I think that was there a truck in the whole thing? There's no truck in that whole thing. <sighs> So it was just him because it doesn't make sense too because why would he why would he be chasing a stream truck and getting kissed by the girls? I know, yeah. He has to be running for one reason. That's, yeah, that's why I was like, there might be two parts. Bro. I think that's a Mandela effect Whoa. now. <laughs> that's crazy. Because I clearly remember like the back of the ice cream truck where it says, yeah, yeah, watch yeah. kids or whatever. Yeah. Like, I think there was at the end or something. No, there's not. I just watched it. There's nothing on there. Uh, it's just, it's just the, it's just the kid running from the shorties, and then the shorties <laughs> caught up with him and gave him a kiss on the cheek. Why does podcast always? F- <laughs> Yo, that's crazy how we found that on the podcast. I know we found crazy. that on the podcast. Yeah, that's crazy. Sir, we like those. That's a new Mandela effect, then. Nah, I know, but that's for Canadians only. Facts, facts, facts. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe. It, oh, no, it, well, you think that's in the U.S.? It might be. I don't know. I think that was a Canadian thing only. Oh, true, true. true. Yeah, because it was only on our type of yeah. topic. But yeah, that really made me us go back to the childhood. What else was there? You did Bay- Beyblades for sure. Yeah, I, I played. Ev- bro, I pl- I told you everything and everything 
fucking Bakugan. Yeah, I play Bakugan. Yu-Gi-Oh, too. Beyblades. Even the Pog shit. Yeah. Like, I low-key had some, but I wasn't into it. Oh, yeah? Pokemon was you, John. You already know. Yeah, yeah. You still have them. Too. <laughs> you can sell those for a lot. This is I'm, worth 500 US. Bro, I, I'm cheese because I gave away all my cards for free. Yeah. I had I had stacks ready, like... If you needed to needed something like a holographic charger, I got you. Damn, but I gave it all goofy, away. Bro. I know, but you know what's what I can sell right now. What? And for anyone that has this, is an iPhone five yeah. with Flappy Bird on it. Word, that's those, also a lot. Those go for at least five thousand dollars on. You're each. lying. I, I promise you. I promise you. Go look it up really, right now. Really, will buy Flappy Bird because iPhones? Flappy Bird is not on the App Store no more. And I remember I had Flappy Bird still on mm. my iPhone. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna sell this. Yeah. So if any of you have an iPhone 5s or or lower with Flappy Bird on it, there's people that want to play Flappy Bird. That's crazy. Yeah. No, but that's crazy because people can just make another Flappy Bird. No, there's definitely no, like they, a Flappy Bird esque game. You know. Obviously, but you know, it's not the it's same. It's not as the OG. The, it's like yeah, yeah. You can't. It's it's nothing like the original. I guess so. It's like that's it's like who's really paying five thousand for that? Bro, are you paying for a real Chicago one or a fake Chicago one? Which one do you rather have? Okay, yeah. That's exactly. True. That's true. Exactly. But for Flappy Bird, I, I know it's kind of a different like. It's a different principle, but like it's kind of the same at the same time. I wouldn't even pay fifty dollars for Flappy Bird. I'm telling you, there's people that want that nostalgia. The nostalgia, the nostalgia damn. Is, is there must be the real like Flappy Bird world Enthusiast. record people though. Yes, yeah, bro, yeah. The highest I got is a hundred. Let's go. <laughs> Remember why they took that down, or why, 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 why? or why he had to like he he gave up on Flappy Bird. The creator of Flappy Bird was getting hella hate on him. For some reason. Oh, because the death threats and stuff? Yeah, he's yeah, getting heard death threats too. and shit. Because the game was hard. Yeah, because the game was hard. That's Imagine. That's, I think he's, he's from Japan. Yeah, But yeah. he was getting like hella death threats. Yeah. And that's why he's like, nah, you guys, I'm taking Flappy Bird off. I know. That's a crazy story because like, that's the whole point of the game, bro. Yeah. Flappy Bird wasn't even that hard. A lie. <laughs> <laughs> like, you guys are really out here tripping, bro. Nah, but yo, Loki, it's on him too. Because he shouldn't even be reading those. Yeah, yeah. Obviously like I'll I'll be I'll be afraid too like for my for my personal yeah, well being, yeah. but uh-huh. you shouldn't even be reading those hate, you know? Yeah. But I heard they were like leaking his address and stuff like oh, that. Oh word. Okay, that's fucked. That's yeah. fucked. So you can you never kinda, mind, kinda never have mind, to never mind. Yeah, that's kinda fucked. have to be aware of that's that. That's messed up. That's messed yeah. up. But yeah, but if anyone's getting hate on them, bro, just don't let that bother you. Facts. Just turn it off. Real shit. They don't know who you are. You know who you are. Yeah, so don't let nobody else tell you that. I know. If you see something on the internet, I used to let that sit bother me. Mm. But then now you literally just have to close your laptop, bro. Yeah. Because <laughs> like the, even like, bro, there's a person who has our our post notifications on. Yeah. yeah. To dislike our video. I know. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> the first second we post is a dislike on it. But taking, right, taking that, that's a win for us because that person is literally taking their time out of their day. To go and write yeah. or whatever. He's or down the, bad. Yeah, he's the one down bad. Like, he's down shout bad. Shout out to you, man. We love you, man. <laughs> I hope you're doing blessed in life, man. But yeah. Oh, one thing that that gets people cheesed, which kind of is crazy, is mm. killing people with kindness. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Especially those bands that all they do is hate. If you hit them, if you switch it on reverse yeah. and give them love, yeah. bro, they don't know what to do. I know. <laughs> they're like, they're like, what the hell? Yeah. Like, you should, come on, man. Hate me more. They're but. Like, what? Yeah, that's something I do. Like, if someone, if I'm getting it, there's no comeback. Yeah, exactly. Because if I'm getting in an argument with someone, I'll be like, "Oh, have a great day, man," and mm. then they'll be like, "Fuck." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Type thing. Because yeah. he, what's he gonna say back? He's, He's not, not gonna say something nice back. That's yeah, not in exactly. His, that's not in his blood to say exactly. that. So kill people with kindness, bro. Like, there's no, there's no reason to be hateful. Yeah. There's a saying that uh, it takes more, it takes more uh, muscles to frown than smile. It's a fact. Oh, where? Yeah. Is, is that is that true? Bro, when you frown, it takes more energy. Then to smile is natural. Nah, that's not true. No, it is. It takes more muscles to frown than to smile. That's not true. This kid's going, that's cap. That's bro, cap. Look, look how much muscle you're you're exerting when you're frowning. But bro, my, my, na- my natural face is a frown. That's not a frown. That's that's like resting face. <laughs> that's resting face. A frown is Oh, like a pout? Yeah, it's like a pout. My my pissed off face is like, <laughs> it's like What's my relaxed face. face. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, really? Yeah. Nah, you'll know if I, I'm pissed off because I'm be like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know. If that's is that true? Yeah. I might have to fact check that. Actually, actually, no, no. I think it is. When I'm mad, when it's I'm a mad good saying. Like, it's a good saying, but I don't know yeah. if it's true. 
Nah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I've heard that. I've heard that somewhere. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's my conspiracy. <laughs> bro, hit us with a conspiracy. I'm the only one that's been like throwing out conspiracy. You want to know a conspiracy, bro? Hit, hit us with one right now. Okay, you okay? Since we're talking about childhood, yeah. You will ever watch Blue's Clues? Yeah. Do you know about the Blue's Clues theory? I actually don't. I actually don't. That's, okay, here this we go. might be the first time I don't know the theory. <laughs> All right, so the Blue's Clues theory, yeah, is Steve is actually a drug addict. Wait, why? Because okay, let me let me break it down. So his whole the whole show yeah. is based on his drug hallucinations. So you know how he's friends. He's talking to inanimate objects yeah. the whole time, like salt, pepper. He's talking to them, right? Mm-hmm. And he's ta- and he's jumping in paintings and going to random worlds. Oh, right? that's true, right? And the and the kid, you hear the kid's voice in the background, mm-hmm. but that kid is the is a kid that he's neglecting. That that kid is telling him not to take drugs, but he's all neglecting all that. And this is the crazy part. This is the, this is the crazy, no, this is the crazy part because his yeah. exit when he exited the show. Yeah, people are saying that that was when uh, he went to rehab, bro. And I was like, bro, that actually makes sense. Oh, and he's like, bye guys. This yeah, is my last this episode. This is my a- last episode. That was him going to rehab, bro. Damn, that's crazy. Because if you really think about it, like, why was he, why is he talking to Blue's Clues? Because ev- everything was animated. Everything was like talking Blue's to him. Blue's Clues is not, even, is not even real. Like everything had eyes on it. Like inanimate objects, bro. Like the pencil would talk and shit. Yes, the bro. paper would talk. Yeah. So Steve is actually a drug addict. Shout out Steve, man. <laughs> if, no, if no, we, it was, it wasn't. It was Steve. Steve. It was Steve. It was Steve? Yeah, the white guy. But the guy before Steve, it was Jeff. There was Jeff? Yeah, there's like three of them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I think there was No, the, the third the third one is some next is some Asian it's guy. Like- <laughs> You see that too? Like, it's some I'm, Filipino I'm, guy, bro. I'm gonna make a uh, bibinko with my, with my- <laughs> That's not blue clues no more, fam. It's not, it's not. You, you- blue clues. <laughs> blue clues. It's not blue clues no more. That's a blue clues. Holy smokes! Golly! Nah, but nah, no offense to that guy. You do your thing, bro. <laughs> nah, it's, it's lit that we see man like him running the show, though. But I remember when Jeff first came on. I mean, uh, when Steve first came on, though. Yeah. I was low key kind of pissed. Yeah, obviously, because it's Cause, not like cause, the OG. Because he was wearing he was wearing the orange sweater, right? Yeah. And then Jeff had the green one. Yeah. Or I could it could be switched. No, no, no. Yeah. Jeff was wearing the green one, mm-hmm. and Jeff was an OG, bro. Yeah. Like I I used to watch. Blue's Clues always came on after school, kind of during like dinner time. Yeah, for sure. So I'd be eating like, my mom used to get me like chicken nuggets sometimes for dinner. I'd yeah. be so lit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you remember those uh, those potato wedges with the smiley face on it? I know. You oh yeah, those. yeah, yeah. Those, those slap. Damn, I haven't had those in a minute. I miss those. I miss those. What are those called? It's smiley potato I, wedges. No, it's like the McCain. I think it's the McCain s- smile or some shit. Oh yeah, McCain. It was something McCain. Yeah, so, yeah. Those you have that those with hit ketchup, different. put some pepper on there yeah. or something. You would have you would have those and your chicken your chicken tenders. Yeah, like, that was the go to. Damn, look, I'm craving that. Yeah, yo, those. Those smiley things and George Shrinks, that's like a memory for me. Oh, right George, now. Shrinks was, George Shrinks was also my favorite show. Mm. Do you know the theory about George Shrinks? No, there's not. There's no, no theory there, about George I'm Shrinks. <laughs> there's no theory about George Shrinks. Sure. No, no, there probably is. Nah, there's definitely nah. not. There, is. there definitely is because why is he small? That's true. Maybe he's a. What made him shrink? Maybe he's anyways. a duende. Huh? Maybe he's a duende. Really? From the Philippines. <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? What? The, from the last, remember you told you were talking about how your mom saw dwarves, or was oh, it? Oh no, mom? my 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 grandma sister. Your grandma sister mm-hmm. saw dwarves. It's actually true. Cause my mom mm-hmm. literally came in my room. Is like, no, that all the stuff that Carlos was saying is true. There's literally Shit. little people here. Let me tell you a story about my aunt too. Yeah. So back in back in the Philippines, mm-hmm. under my my uncle's house, yeah, there's there lives a dwarf. Bro, there's a little there's an actual dwarf. Right, and h- that dwarf is considered a healer. Oh, so, like a like a a small per- a little yeah, person, a, a little a little a little person that is consi- that heals everyone. So if you if, if you go if you have any sickness, you go to him. And here's the crazy sure. thing. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. So my that healer had yeah. a, had a crush mm. on my my aunt. Yeah. And my and my and the aunt's brother di- didn't let uh what do you call this my aunt. Uh, I mean, the dwarf wanted my aunt, right? Yeah. And he wanted to take her to the underworld with him. Yeah. And and my my dad didn't let that happen, right? What the fuck? No way. This no, is no, real. no, no, no. This is real. <laughs> this is real. So when the, the that dwarf passed away. Yeah. 
Here's the there's this is the craziest thing ever. Mm-hmm. My aunt now has all those powers because she does she does massages on my grandpa Whoa. and heals him. But here's a f- the crazy thing. My aunt's boyfriend mm-hmm. was is now like is now like really physically limited. And they're saying that the the reason why he's physically limited now like is because uh they didn't let my aunt go with the the healer and he's taking revenge. That's so f- because my aunt's boyfriend was super healthy, super fit, yeah. but randomly one day, what I'm hearing, randomly one day he he nah, that's crazy. He has no more that's physical crazy. ability. Yo, because I could see something like that though. Yeah, because like, hexes and curses and shit, mm-hmm. like that shit's live in the yeah. Philippines, bro. And my aunt is known for giving back. Like she mm-hmm. she she'll do it free. She'll give you a massage for free and all that. Damn, that's crazy. I know. Stuff. Bro, it literally blew my mind. My mom has a third eye. Yeah? Yeah. She she's walking home one day with her friend. Yeah. And she's seeing this big ghost. Yeah. That smokes a cigarette that everyone knows about. But and she turned to her friend, she's like, Did you see that? No, I didn't see that. Damn. And she sees the, you know, the half the tourist, the half thing. Oh, yo, my aunt saw something just like that. Yeah. The the half horse guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that that's that's a known thing in the Philippines. I forgot what exactly it's yeah, called. Yeah. But yeah. Like my aunt, she told me straight up, like she saw something. She like saw, that. yeah, exactly. And only people with third eyes can see stuff like that. That's crazy. No, like the Philippines is filled with a bunch of crazy stuff, bro. Yo, you want to hear another ghost story? Yeah, let me hear it. Cause I got, I got one for you after. Okay, so we're going back to the house mm-hmm. that the ice school pick was taken. Wait, when did you go? No, no, no. I'm just saying, like we're gonna, we're gonna bring it back to that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So my aunt's house. Yeah. She used to sleep mm-hmm. in the bedroom that's like adjacent, not adjacent, but beside the stairwell to the basement. Okay. Okay. So you can imagine her bedroom's like this. Yeah. And then the staircase goes down on the other side of the wall. Okay. She used to have like nightmares and shit. I already told you this, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, one time mm-hmm. she was sleeping. Yeah. And she heard a smack uh-huh. on the wall. <laughs> Like okay. a smack on the wall, yeah. Toward like from the from the side with the staircase. Uh huh. Now, if someone were to smack that wall, they'd have to jump like super high to touch it. Mm-hmm. No one, no, no one else is around in the house. Just her. So how the f- did it, someone smack the wall? Oh, shit. like she, she heard up a, a smack and then. Oh what? Damn. Dead ass. Holy smokes. So the house is... No, like this house is already haunted, bro. I'm telling you this house is actually haunted. You know what we should do? What? We should, we should, we should, should go. Vlog. We should vlog we it. Should vlog it. So some, someone else lives there now, though. Oh, shoot. Oh, damn. Oh, you want... Okay, so when they gave up when they gave up the house... Mm-hmm. Like, on me, this is a true story. <laughs> yeah. On me. Yeah. <laughs> like, any any story I tell from this house... I believe... On any, me, this is a true story. I believe anything because like, I don't want any... I swear this is a true story. I don't want any bad things, so I'm going to just believe it. Like that picture I showed you guys, that's a real picture. Nobody edited it. Yeah. No, I'm going to show it right now. Because everybody keeps asking asking for the picture. I'm going to show it right now. There you go. (laughs) Any story you hear from this house is 100% real. Mm -hmm. I'm not making nothing (laughs) up. Yeah. Like that shit is haunted. All right, bro. So when they gave up the house, Uh they they sold it and then they, they like, Got the new owners, whatever, right? Uh-huh. They're already packing up. It's like, let's say a week before they really like move out and, and let go of the house. Mm-hmm. They get a knock on the door. Okay. Um, My Lolo, he opens up the door and it's some some guy they they never seen before. It's like, oh, I heard you guys are, are selling the house. It's like, oh yeah, well, we're selling blah, blah, blah. Apparently he's a neighbor. Yeah. But they never seen that neighbor before. Right. Okay. Yeah. First of all, it's kind of suspect. Like, yeah, that you, a neighbor you, you never seen, really talked to, kind of yeah. asking you kinda, when you sold the you house. You kind of know all your neighbors around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was talking to him, and then um, he went to go like get my my Lola to like say hi to. Mm-hmm. So he turned around to like call her. Yeah. And he turns back. He's gone. And then he wasn't there. Oh shoot, bro! So he like walked around the bush because maybe maybe like. Yeah, he, he looked looked around the bush like if he was hiding or something mm-hmm. for some reason, right? Yeah, yeah. He, he's not there. So what happened? So what was that? I don't know. A ghost? 
because he he saw a person like oh you you know what it might be maybe it's because um he knew he was or that thing knew that your your uncle was getting your aunt something scared it away whoa yo i'm getting goosebumps right now still maybe because my lola she like she keeps her lights on when she sleeps and everything yeah i think she has like the least amount of ghost stories from the house which is kind of crazy where it's my lola my lola sister so i call her lola still so it's her her husband and my two aunts Mm -hmm. there's two aunts that live there holy that might be it though because because he he, you think she like deters the spirits away yeah because your uncle saw him yeah and it was all cool until he's like okay i'm gonna get i'm gonna get the gatekeeper you feel me bro you want to hear another story from my uncle or like my okay yeah. my lola yeah so he was he was like drinking with his friends in the basement yeah you know like those chill times where you have your boys over yeah, you're yeah. just kicking it yeah. so they were drinking whatever having having a good time mm-hmm. and then one of his friends mm-hmm. it's time to go so he goes upstairs and then calls his ride yeah and he waits upstairs in the living room looking out the window right mm-hmm. he's just waiting there waiting for uh, his ride to come someone a lady approaches him from behind and says oh how are you doing like yeah um you who are you waiting for blah blah, blah. Or he like talks to him or something mm-hmm. something yeah i forgot what she said but she says something wait this is in the philippines or no no this is at the house okay, this, at the <laughs> this house. is the same house bro oh, i'm telling wait. you this is the same house that's this yeah. house is crazy so he he talks to this lady right and is like mm-hmm. oh yeah okay okay and then um before he leaves, he goes back downstairs and talks to my Lolo because he wants to say goodbye to everyone before he cuts, right? Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to leave now. And he's like, oh, who is the, the lady upstairs? Is that is that um, uh, Lola's friend uh-huh. or something like that, right? Yeah. He's like, nobody's home. He straight up, like, nobody Bro. was home. So who did you see upstairs? This is your, this is your uncle saying that? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Nah, 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 nah. So imagine he straight up saw her and talked with her. Your aunt. Okay, now let's bring it back. To, let's bring it back to the picture. Remember what I told you? She was she was like Asian looking. Yeah, yeah. But actually, like native. Now mm-hmm. Filipinos and native people kind of look similar. They could look similar, like Asian wise, right? Yeah, yeah. It would make sense that he would think she's just a relative because she looks like she looks like yeah Asian. Dang. But remember in the picture, yeah, she could look like a relative, but let me know. So in his mind, oh, she was just like someone, like a friend or something. She was there at the house. So once you piece it all together, what do you think is this? What 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 do you think, bro? I don't, I think, I don't I think, know what to think, man. I don't know what to I think. think is your aunt, your your aunt has some like third eye thing and can see stuff. Because it, was it? Didn't you tell me a story before of your aunt seeing stuff? Was this the same person? Which one, my my tita? The one who saw like the Taurus and like the half horse half thing was this? The oh same yeah, person? yeah, yeah. That this is the yeah, same yeah. person. She she lives in that house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if I you really want to piece it together, if going from the evidence, like we're playing some criminal thing, I I think she can see stuff that we can't see. Shit, bro, that's fucked. Yeah. Cause she has the most experiences with the house, and she was the one, and she was the one who took that picture, right? She was the one that took the picture. Holy smokes. Yeah, you're, you're, golly, wow. <laughs> your aunt, your aunt's something special, man. Bro, you want to hear another ghost story? <laughs> Not here. Let me, let me tell you a story first. Okay. Because, um, what do you call this? Also in the Philippines, since we're on the topic of the Philippines. Yeah. So, wh- one of my dad's friends, right? Mm. It was like this open field. Remember, um, in, in episode two, I think I, I tell about the story where you have to say a prayer before you go anywhere in the Philippines. Yeah. It's called Tabi Po. They, yeah. co- they all corrected me. Yeah. So you're supposed to say tabby po before you go and disturb anyone's land. Mm-hmm. Right? So my dad's friends go into this open field on a dark, like, mid midnight night. Yeah. Just fooling around. They're yeah. screaming, ah, ah. They're, yeah, they're yeah. not following the rules. They don't say tabby po. They come out of the field. His face is stuck like this. Oh, f- His face is stuck like this. They're like, they don't know how to get it out. The whole time, his face is like this. Crooked, fam. That's crazy. Crooked. But yeah. Because because he didn't say that shit. Because he didn't say Tabi Po, bro. That's crazy. I'm telling you, yeah. You, you now it's Bro, the, the, the craziest shit is like when when something happens to someone and you can see it physically. Yeah. That's the most I know. Fucked. That's the most I know. Fucked. Cause imagine your one of your friends come out of the out of the forest like this. 
bro, yeah. what are you doing? That's so f- I, like, I, what do you, what do you, how do you explain that? I know you don't, yeah, bro. You don't eat like shit. And, and when you see it in person, like that, that's when you really start to believe, like when you see physical mm-hmm. evidence then you're of like, something oh, supernatural you that like that. shit moment. Yeah. It's like, oh shit. Yeah. We don't really know as much as we really know. <laughs> Feel me? There's a lot, bro. Okay. So something similar kind of happened yeah. at that house. <laughs> so was this house, man. So my cousins yeah. were all playing in the basement. Mm-hmm. They were playing like, like board games, whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. So my Lola, she's upstairs, like cooking something. Mm-hmm. All of the cousins, cousins were playing there for like a couple hours. Mm-hmm. They all came upstairs and then they had a scratch on their forehead. All of them? Like the same scratch on their forehead. Come on, bro. And it's like, it but was clear. Did they, did they notice that they had it or like this? No, had to point it out. No, like Lola like saw it and she's like, why do you guys have like a scratch? Oh, so they didn't even feel it? They didn't know. <laughs> oh, no, man. Nah, stay away from that house. Well, bro, because we used to stay at that house and <laughs> we used to play in the basement and stuff. Yeah. And we, as, as we were playing and shit, we know all of this shit happened, right? We know like, we know ghost stories that happened at that house. But whatever you tell about, like talk about this shit, I actually get scared, bro. <laughs> Fam, like we, we would go down there and then, bro, okay. Okay, here's the crazy thing to you. <laughs> okay. I forgot all about this. Yeah. We used to have people living in, they used to have people living in the basement too. Okay, like, yeah. like a rental. Uh-huh. They used to rent out the basement. Mm-hmm. Like there's a separate side. There's um, like a living quarter yeah. part. And then there's like kind of a, a open basement part, right? Okay. So they used to rent out the, the, the apartment type of basement part, right? Mm-hmm. Now they had a bunch of different tenants or whatever, like yeah. people staying there. Bro. Those people that stayed there have ghost stories too. Oh, so it's yeah, because it, that that house is haunted. Like if you're at that house, you're gonna you're gonna find Exper- something. You're gonna experience. You're gonna something. experience something. Yeah. Uh, one of the tenants that lived there, we're we're actually family friends with them. They kind of show up to the fam jams yeah. once in a while. Where? So she was saying one time when she was sleeping. Uh huh. This is the classic like, oh, what, what kind of like that was kind of weird. What? Why? What? Why that happen? Like a noise type thing. No, this is what happened. She was sleeping. And her blanket got pulled. Oh, what? What? She's sleeping. Blanket pulled. What's that movie that? that I remember there's a like movie. It's like paranormal. Yeah, paranormal. paranormal. Bro. Like, how do you explain that, oh, man? Oh, no, that's Annabelle. When the blankets get pulled and the Annabelles are under. Yeah. Bro. No, that's... No. Okay, here. 10K likes. We do a 24 hours in that house. Nah. <laughs> that, bro. 10K? Yo, 10K likes. We're doing 24. 20- Hours that, in that house. We sleep there 24 hours. See, the crazy thing is we would do that. We, like, we would sleep over there and we would like hang out there, right? Yeah. But it's not all the time like things would happen. It's not all the time. Mm-hmm. Just on like a, a crazy rare occasion. My mom has a ghost story there. Like the- literally <laughs> bare family yeah. that went to the house. Because we that was kind of the chill spot back in the day. Yeah. We used to celebrate Christmas there. We used to go like Easter egg hunting and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And it was always like a common... It was, it was like the running joke. Oh, yeah, the house is haunted and stuff okay, like that. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't a joke. <laughs> That's... Nah. Nah, that, that house is something else, man. Because I don't have any of those. <laughs> it, it, it's like you have a never-ending thing, but I really don't have any of those ghost stories. It's just all stuff that happens in the woods. All right, I'm going to tell you. This is this is probably the craziest one. Right. I don't even know if I should be saying, saying this one. This one's kind of like... Okay, then don't. Personal? Okay, then don't. Okay, this, okay I'm going to say it. Okay, my aunt... She was. She came home really late after work, mm-hmm. and then she went to go um, heat up heat up food. Right? She mm-hmm. went to the fridge, put it in the microwave. Okay, mm-hmm. turns it on, beep beep, and she goes to wash her room. Yeah, she went to like go change or whatever. Yeah, when she came back to check on her food when it was done, beep beep. <laughs> when she goes up to the microwave, mm-hmm. she sees two little baby shoes like towards the microwave. Wait, what do you mean? In? No, toward like facing towards the microwave. On, on the, the ground? Like she walks towards she walks towards the microwave and she sees two baby shoes like <laughs> facing towards the microwave. What the fuck? Bro, now listen. As she sees these two baby shoes, yeah. Like dead ass. <laughs> on me. A ball starts rolling towards her. Oh, oh my god. Fam. These baby shoes yeah. were my my little cousin's baby shoes like that were deep in the closet like they didn't even 
like no one wore those. Yeah, those are the, the forgotten pair type shit. Uh huh. How did they end up on the floor in front of the microwave like that? Ghost put it there, bro. She's the only one home. I just want to meet your aunt, man. <laughs> I want to meet your aunt and just tell her, just sit by the fire. I bet at campfire she's so lit. She with has some, she has some crazy with stories, some stories, bro. bro. Bro, imagine you go home and you see that shit. I'm out of the I, fucking I'm house. Running. Like I'm, I don't care. If I, I don't even want to sleep in the house no more if that shit happens. Once me. that ball rolls, I'm punting it and running. <laughs> I'm punting it the other way and running out the house. Okay, bro. Now this is where how gets, does your aunt live? Okay, with like, this this is where it gets personal now. All right. Because remember, remember when I said like the voice said they want to play with me. Oh yeah, it was a baby voice. No, don't tell me. Don't tell me it sounded exactly like that. No, they didn't. There was no voice that she heard. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but the voice I heard was a kid's voice. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. A kid's voice. Yeah. Baby shoes and a ball. Yeah. Bro, I think something really messed up happened there. Or like something, a spirit is distraught or something is holding them back from being happy. Mm-hmm. What do you think it is, though? I don't know. But I think it has to do with a child. Yeah. Cause it's like my aunt's story. It's like the only reason why my uncle was like physically limited was because he was taking revenge. Like it, it, it makes sense why that it's like that. Yeah. Why do you think it's? You don't know. I don't know, bro. Fuck, bro. It's it's a it's a mystery. Like I don't want to look too deep into. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Cause then it's just like. Cause it, you, bro, no. Cause it's, that, it's not like I wouldn't. I wouldn't want. Yeah, I don't want to find out. Yeah. You know what I mean, cause it's not like I'm playing. Like for fun, this is real shit. This is not. Yeah, because what if it's like the now that you know it, now it's the journey to please it. Yeah, it's thing. it's it's really not. This is no joke. Yeah, it's really the op- the less you know. I don't. I don't think better. we should be playing with that shit. No, like we real. should not touch yeah. that shit. Yeah. Like Ouija boards. Have you ever played with a Ouija board? I stay I, away from that, bro. We played with like um. I remember at a sleepover, we played with a a fake one. Yeah, but, but that shit even creeped me out, bro. But that shit know, is dangerous. Man. It is. Like it I is. never touched it. Yeah, my cousins never touch it because we know, like, don't fuck with that. Yeah, shit. bro, that's the same with the ghosts and the those ghostbusters that come in your house and are like and talk to the ghost and mm. literally it comes up on the speaker and it's like, oh yeah, it's like, like the ghost are hunting. you? They'll be like, are you here? Yes, I'm here, bro. If that happened to me in my house. Mom, we gotta move, bro. Like, how do you explain shit like that, man? You can't. That's why I'm saying, like, that's why it's so crazy. Because when people say stories like this to the mm-hmm. average person that that didn't experience something like that, yeah, it wouldn't comprehend in their brain like how that would make sense to them. Yeah, you know what I mean, I know it's fucked, bro. It is crazy. Like for real, the world has so many secrets we don't know, bro. Even with the internet, bro, there's a lot of secrets that we don't know. Cause there's. It's like, uh, I saw this picture. It's like an icicle, right? Yeah. The internet is literally, the top of the icicle is the stuff that we know. Mm-hmm. Middle of the icicle, stuff that is, doesn't show in the search engines. Mm-hmm. And then third, I don't know if you know about the dark web. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to get into that because it's it's kind of explicit. Imagine the dark web shit that they can't show on on regular social media yeah. of supernatural stuff. Yeah. Because 100% there's some supernatural the stuff the government would not want us I to see. I 110% guarantee that there's there's videos and recordings of all that on the dark web that you can watch. Oh, but I don't want to advise. Please, yeah, yeah. no one. Please, please, no, no, no one. Nobody, like, nobody go on there. Do not step into that room. Yeah. That is not safe. Because I've heard stories. It was like, bro, uh, a guy started talking to a guy on the dark web. Yeah. And then uh, they were all on a Skype call, right? Mm-hmm. And then there was a random person that popped up on the screen with a pig's mask. Yeah. Nah, I just don't want to talk that you go, you go on the internet and find that story because there's a YouTube video on it. Yeah. There's, but it's, there's, I, I don't want to explain what happened after, bro. Internet stalkers are real. Yeah. Now imagine internet stalkers with hacking capabilities, like hacking software and shit. They can, used to find you yeah bro i've seen i've seen that once they once you click on a link or something they can see you wherever you go on your phone like if you click that wrong link they're watching you from your phone yeah that's why i'm like golly because the the mans that are on the dark web yeah those are the mans that they're they're hacking shit they're 
they're using the internet for evil. Yeah. People on the dark web are really like messed up. Yeah. You have, there's a certain mindset that you have to go in. Like it's, it's, fun. it's for criminals too. Yeah. It, that's the dark web is made for criminals. Yeah. That's why everyone uses Bitcoin so they can use it on the dark web. Did you know that? No. You didn't know that? That's why that's why Bitcoin is popping right now. Oh, because you can just trade on the dark web and stuff like you that? Can, or get it for it, free? It's an internet currency or like it's an online currency yeah. that is non-traceable. Mm. People use it to buy and sell drugs. Yeah. People use it to buy and sell assassins, hookers, whatever. You literally brought- Like organs, like yeah. shit like- organs, all that. The I seen guns. A YouTube, I seen a YouTube video where-, where uh, three boys yeah they bought some some mutant uh fish off that like Damn, mutant, what the fuck <laughs> mutant, like I, i'm trying to like happy it up like <laughs> mutant fish that is like uh a mix between like uh like two different types of fish yeah and it's crazy like the stuff you can buy off there <laughs> but yeah what if you can find like a live elf <laughs> yo stop like a live there probably is bro <laughs> off the dark web yo remember in in shrek yeah. remember in shrek in the beginning of shrek it was like a guy selling off m- mystical creatures. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can buy that guy. <laughs> like, Yo. You want to buy this fairy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what if there's something like that on the dark web? Low is, key, bro. I think there's something like that on the dark web Again, where you can buy mystical creatures. Do not features. advise anyone to go on the dark web. Please do not. You know what? Maybe for that, for that part, maybe. For mystical health? <laughs> no. <laughs> Because what if everyone starts buying? Yo, Carlos Gavin, I just bought a mystical elf. Like, no, bro. Like, no. Yo, you know how lit that would be, though? Yes, it would be lit, but... That'd be lit as fuck, bro. But no, we don't want... We don't advise. How much do you think those would go for? Oh. They'd probably sell it for, like, millions. A lot. A lot. Because there's no way everyone... If everyone has a mystical elf, that's not fair. Oh, wait, hold on. What if they breed them, though? Breed That'd them be elf? crazy. That'd be crazy. Yeah, that's... That's not even crazy, You know how though. they do, like, human trafficking? Yeah. What if they do, like elf trafficking or mystical creature trafficking that would be crazy that's something see this is inside carlos's imagine mind. this is inside carlos's mind imagine bro i'm about to search that at home elf uh dark web elf <laughs> no, do you think there is some nah okay that, that that's that's a reach that's L- a reach. like like they're selling uh, uh leprechauns yeah they're selling like mystical stuff <laughs> buy a leprechaun you get a pot of gold free <laughs> <laughs> You think? Like, or you think you can buy luck? Yo, I was on Fiverr like the other day. What's that? You know what Fiverr is? Oh, is that the... Um, it's like the freelancing site. Oh, yeah, site. the freelancing site. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can pay someone to do whatever you want. Like you can pay them to, I don't know, market a product. You can pay them to create like a voiceover. Yeah, yeah. Anything. Like you want a logo made, they animations. can make you a logo. Yeah, animations, yeah. anything like that. All right. So I was on Fiverr mm-hmm. and I was scrolling through like the... It was like um the fun the fun stuff. Okay, yeah. So you can get like someone dressed as Jesus to give like a shout out. You can give oh, get yeah? someone like a birthday shout out, something like that, right? <laughs> yeah. So I was scrolling like deep, deep, deep. Uh huh. I was probably on like page twenty six or some shit. Okay, of the happy stuff. It wasn't necessarily happy, but it's like novelty, like okay. miscellaneous. Yeah, <laughs> bro, they had straight up witches. <laughs> what? Wait, witches that would say witches. That will do like spells for you. On Fiverr? On Fiverr. Isn't that like a professional site though? <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. Because they, they can do whatever you want, right? What you, the heck? You, you can hire like an e-girlfriend if you really want. Oh, on what? You didn't know that? All, this, all the Discord sims are they're, they're lit right now. <laughs> Imagine they're lit right now. They're lit, <laughs> they're lit right now. It's like, no way. <laughs> but PogChamp. <laughs> yeah, but like I, I was looking into it. And I was reading reviews, right? Yeah. This shit has like a hundred something reviews. Well, what what are like the spells like? It's like um, spells and sacrifices for like success, wealth. What? It's it literally says whatever you want. <laughs> what we can con we can conjure like we can like. Or it's like it's like what do you want? Success, success, celiosis. <laughs> nah, but they they do fucking spells bro oh. like the shit with the candles and the cards and is it like videotaped and like you just watch it i don't know i don't know about like we should I, do it. I, I, I didn't i didn't buy it like i, I, I think we should do it for, for a vid you want to do it for a vid yeah, like a success success spell look i'm scared i don't know f- with that shit okay yeah because yeah. i was looking at it it was dead ass like satanic shit oh okay then never mind it was like illuminati type shit bro okay illuminati is a whole different case yeah you know disney yeah is considered to be or walt disney is supposed to be 
the Illuminati? Oh, 100% fam. Yeah. 100%. You see, you see, there was a picture of the Walt Disney and there's three, <laughs> there's three sixes on it. Oh, with the Mickey Mouse ears? Yeah. And the, the whole Walt Disney picture. I'll put it up. I'll put it up on the screen. I'll send you the picture. Okay, bet. But yeah. Bro, 100%, man. You think? Yeah. Fam, I, I already started Illuminati theories when I was in fucking like grade five. I was already YouTubing you think, like you think Illuminati so shit. The Kanye, Beyonce, are Fam, all Illumi- hands down, <laughs> hands down. Like this is just me. Yeah, come on. If you have so much people in power, mm-hmm. whether it be like the Illuminati, uh, Illuminati, yeah, or whether it be like a corporation that brings them together, yeah, they're gonna come together. Where, feel me? Yeah, the Illuminati. I just want to get it um, confirmed. Like the Illuminati is just a bunch of people. That kind of dictate what we do, right? Yeah, dictate what we do, people in power, and yeah. a lot of influence. Yeah. Shit. And we just follow uh, in their footsteps type thing. No, they, like, influence us to do they, stuff. Yeah, yeah they, they influence, influence us to yeah. do stuff. If you really bag it, like, look, celebrities really control the population. Oh, yeah, for sure. They can they can make, they set trends, and through trends, they change our lives. Yeah. Feel me? Yeah. Like, shit. I don't want to say, look at ASAP Rocky. Mm-hmm. ASAP Rocky kind of really brought the fashion into, into the the rap game. Yeah, Kanye too. Kanye too. Yeah, Kanye. Is but ASAP Rocky made it look like teenagers can do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Kanye was a little bit more older. He was like the CEO type shit. Yeah, but are you saying that like as soon as you become a celebrity, then you join the Illuminati? I don't think that's what it is. Yeah. I think you'd be contacted. Oh shit! But look, look, look. ASAP Rocky kind of put fashion onto like teenagers, right? Mm-hmm. Let's just say like this is an example. Yeah, he can change someone's life he kind of influenced like would you say he influenced us to start our own fashion our own brand for sure 100 percent. him all all those fashion icons Ingon exactly all those. now they can they can influence us to do stuff like that 100 mm-hmm. percent. they can influence us to do other things that we don't really realize is bad for us yeah like what bro i don't want to get into like substances and shit Oh, like the lean? Bro, they can low-key influence us to do really negative shit. That's but true. But we we're not really bagging it. We're not really yeah. taking it in. But we just think it's cool because yeah, they're doing it. exactly. Bro, you... But shout out to the celebrities that put really positive shit out there. Shout out to oh, them. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, they're, they're doing, all they're about... They're yeah. a good role model. That's yeah. what we need, bro. Shout out to the celebrities that are really good role models. Yeah, yeah. But for sure, there's some people out there that yeah. they're low-key manipulating the population. I know, yeah. But that's just a theory. That's just know, a theory. Yeah. Like, see, see, uh, the one things that I get into too is like, um, because you get into all the conspiracies. But if I would watch a documentary, my favorite type of documentary is like drugs. Yeah, and anything illegal because it's so it's so like mm. crazy to me. I was watching this one. It was like, um, yeah, the the lean stuff. But there's also this this drug in the UK. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you heard this. Is is balloons? The oh most, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the most um, popular drug in UK. The whippets. Yeah. Is the no no? Is yeah. Is it's it, a, it's a, it's a CO two. Yeah, it's a CO2. Mm-hmm. So people literally go into hospitals, break into hospitals, and, and get all the tanks? Nah, bro. They didn't even break in. Like, you can buy that shit. Oh, shit. I shouldn't say this. Yeah, you can yeah, buy that yeah, shit yeah. from Canadian Tire, bro. What? Then we No, because I think we're talking about this, the, the two different ones. Because there's actual balloons that you just you suck up. Pause. Nah, it's um, it's the CO2 canisters. No, no. It's the same thing, no? See, no it's the, whipping, of- the whipping cream like thing. Am no, I, am I different. wrong? No, it's, it's different. different. It's different. Because there's a, bl- they, they call it the balloon dealers. So after everyone leaves the club, right? In the yeah. UK, they stand around and they wait for the balloon dealer. So the balloon dealer has a canister, has a balloon, gives it. I think it's the same thing. I think it's the same thing. Yeah. It might be. I think it's the same thing. Because that's the shit they put you on um, when when you get like surgery for, for your teeth. Oh, yeah? When I got like my teeth taken. It's like, what is it called? When I got the surgery taken yeah, yeah. So it, like to, <laughs> to take my wisdom teeth out. Bro, highest in the room. <laughs> Damn, dead ass. Yeah, that was a cr- well, that was one of the craziest mental experiences of my life. <laughs> Did you, bro? I was unconscious the whole time I was drugged, and then my dad's telling me like, I was, I was like. Let's go. Really? <laughs> yeah, but I didn't remember. Did you remember? I remember everything. See that? What the hell? I remembered everything. I didn't remember shit. Yo, okay, so this is what happened. So they they put me under the 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 laughing gas. Oh, I took tabs. Oh, yeah, I took laughing gas. Oh yeah. So they put the the mask on me, right? <laughs> and then he turned it on, and he's like, and he's counting down, right? No, 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 not even counting down. He's like, 
all right, do you feel it yet? And then I'm like, no. Uh, no. I'm like, okay, this is my time. Yeah, <laughs> this is my time to show that I'm, I'm built different. No, they, I'm like, they, this, is, this is my time. Like, if I want to experience something cool, yeah. I'm going to do it right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, nah, I don't really feel it. Mm-hmm. And that's why I told him, it's like, okay, I'm going to turn it up. Wow. This guy turned it up. <laughs> Bro. Wow. I started seeing tie dye. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I could, everything was going like one second late. Okay. So he would tap my tooth here and then I would hear it like. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're so, uh, yeah. Like delayed. Everything's, it's, everything's so. You're lagging. It, it's, it's like a cod lag, bro. It's literally like a cod <laughs> you're lag. lagging in real life. It's lagging, bro. And Did then. You feel sick? Yeah, I was, it was, bro, everything, everything was so. I was happy about everything because. Yeah, yeah. They were pulling my teeth, right? Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be painful. Yeah. But I can just imagine myself like outside of my body. Yeah. They were pulling my tooth. Uh-huh. But I'm just smiling like it's really? like nothing. Bro, the tabs that I took, I actually felt my like half of my wisdom teeth removal. Because Word? <laughs> because I took tabs 30 minutes before, right? Yeah. And I started slowly passing away, right? Yeah. And then I woke up, all I see, I hear I feel some pains, uh. right? And in the middle of it, they're like, they they know I'm awake now, so yeah. they're like we're almost done, but it hurts, bro. Oh man, that sucks. And I seen my teeth come out. I'm like, oh. That sucks, I, I swear I almost wanted to throw up when I seen that. See, I, I did surgery for my two, my teeth twice. Yeah. So they took my wisdom teeth out and then and they took out my extra teeth because yeah. I have extra teeth. Yeah. Oh That's yeah. That's why yeah. I have braces, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the first time I did it, they put me out with like the, the sleep shit. Yeah, yeah. Like you're knocked out. Yeah, you're done for. I'm, you're not I wake up stuff. after everything's done. Yeah. Bro, remember Get Out? Yeah. When I say it's when like Get Out, it's dead ass like Get Out. <laughs> like they they put they put the thing on me because it's an injection and yeah. it's like a it's a gas thing at uh-huh. the same time. And then you, bro, they're like breathing deep mm-hmm. in out, yeah, in out, right? Uh huh. I could feel myself like falling away. Uh huh. Literally going into the sunken place, like dead ass like going into the sunken smoke. place. So I would like, bro, I was, I want to say 87% or some shit like that, like yeah. gone. Uh-huh. And then she, she asked me a question. She's like, what's your weight? Yeah. Like for, for the drugs and shit. What, oh, what's your weight again? Uh-huh. I'm like, well, what? <laughs> oh, um, I'm, I'm on 45. And then I'm gone. And then I'm gone. That's my right last after? thing I said. That was the last thing I said. Gone. Yeah. Bro, Cut, lights they, out. It was lights out, yeah, bro. Yeah, because I, I get scared even because I, I I didn't want to take the pills because you get you get an option mm-hmm. to take the pills because I I hate those sleeping pills mm-hmm. like what if I don't wake up type thing, what if these pills are thing? Oh uh, no, nah, yeah. I I tr- like the hospitals are really good. Our healthcare yeah. is really good with that. But what's that uh sleeping pill that uh you you that uh Charon gave me? Oh melatonin. Melatonin. Melatonin is just vitamins. Yeah, that, that's not sleeping pill. Yeah, but. Yeah, man. <laughs> Those are this, bro. You know, uh, if we go back to internet, something that's really crazy. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you know about the the soft white underbelly. What's that? Have you ever searched that up? Soft white underbelly. If you search up soft white, it won't come up in your search engine, right? Because you have to type the whole thing, or else you're not gonna see it. What is it? So it's like it's literally interviews. They interview, uh, heroin a- addicts. Oh, true. Homeless people. Mm. I've seen pimps, bro. Yeah. Get interviewed and it's like it's like a crash course that's on like em- vice right yeah no it's a crash course mm. on like empathy because before before seeing stuff like that mm. i was like i saw a homeless person like why don't you just get a job no there's more than that you know mm. and it really teaches you so like if, if people have the chance to search up soft white underbelly it'll yeah. really teach you it'll give you a perspective on life mm. a really good one yo you know what i love about our podcast bro i just like to open people's minds and perspectives yeah, yeah. about things like bro our comment section is so lit yeah, because everyone's chiming in chiming in yeah and i've seen get, seeing us getting tagged on every christmas tree post <laughs> and they're like jumpers because jump. i feel like <laughs> you good yeah because i feel like a lot of us we, we forget to kind of question things yeah because when we were kids we we're so curious about mm. everything we want to know everything our right? brain is a sponge as a kid so yeah and nowadays we're so entertained yeah we're so overly entertained. Like something, our attention span is so sm- short. Sure. Like we don't really explore as much anymore. And I think yeah. that's what I really want to do with this podcast. Kind of explore no, things exactly. with everybody. I feel like we're just opening people up to like, to cool stuff. Yeah. That just, they don't know about. Just different ideas, yeah. like imagination, creativity. Yeah, right? exactly. And open it up. Yeah. Yeah. Because imagination, like the one thing that I wanted to keep throughout elementary school was always have a good imagination because mm-hmm. I feel like schools try to drain you of that. Yeah, I'm so deep on imagination. Yeah, bro. like 
Like, if you don't have an imagination, like, we wouldn't be that creative. We wouldn't yeah. be all that, you know? Exactly. For me, that's that's part of the source of my happiness is my imagination. Oh, for sure. Like, for sure. you can make anything normal yeah. into something great just yeah. with your imagination. You know what I found out? That, you know, do you ever have those daydreams of you just... Uh, living out a scenario in your life that you want to happen yeah, yeah and it happens like almost like every day that's manifesting bro it's not it's not because it's some sort i heard that daydreaming or something is uh, daydreaming a lot is yeah. some sort of disease or like a disorder what? is a disorder i don't know how much you do it though yeah i don't do it like every second but like i, I do i, I do, daydream a lot i daydream yeah. a lot though i think the people that daydream a lot are like really creative though yeah because I forgot where I heard this. It might have been Virgil's lecture in Harvard. Mm -hmm. But when people have time to themselves with like nothingness mm -hmm. and just have time to your thoughts. Oh, yeah. That's when your imagination and creativity like explodes. Imagine people in jail, bro. Yeah. They can think about things that, you know, and look, look at Corona right now. Yeah, with, I was just going to say Corona. With quarantine, mm -hmm. we have so much time to be with ourselves and just. I don't know. You see, be creative. You, 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 it's like how you see everyone starting their own like art thing now. Yeah, which is great. This is it's it's so good. good. Yeah, like I've seen people make soaps and stuff like that's sick. Yeah. Like, like, like find find success through your passion. That's yeah. amazing. Corona is literally a blessing in disguise, but we didn't know it. Yeah, facts. But we didn't know it, bro. Mm -hmm. We just thought, oh, we're stuck in the house. Yeah. No, now it's time to self reflect mm -hmm. and literally like plan out stuff bro for real like anybody feeling down during quarantine yeah. just remember it gets better you bro. have the world at your fingertips yeah. like you have your iphone you have your computer yeah you want to learn anything in the world Corona you can you can learn it at your fingertips like in your hands it's yeah. there you just search it up you can get into so many different things so many hobbies yeah. so many passions you can really learn a lot about yourself with the internet something and yeah you have a lot of time to do that right now something that kept me motivated was like okay so now since we're all locked up right yeah i'm gonna learn all these things mm -hmm. so when i uh lockout ends yeah i can come out with uh, i have so much new information that i can tell people because we have so much time might as well do something yeah with it, exactly right? bro try new things yeah right like what, what what's one thing you we you tried that was something new i mean this podcast podcast right? yeah. <laughs> yeah that's true podcast yeah but I started painting. Oh, that's I, good. I, and drawing. Mm. Like in my room. Because I was never a good drawer. But yeah, I yeah. started drawing. I that's good. Focused. That's good. But yeah, bro. It, it, if you guys are sad during thing, bro, trust me, it gets better, man. Yeah. Just remember, it may look like something negative, mm -hmm. but you have to look at you have to look at it as glass half full. Yeah. Not glass half empty. And that sounds so corny and cheesy. Yeah, but it's but really, really it's so true. <laughs> it's so true. All the corny stuff is literally just true. It's, it's, it's just true. Factual. Yeah. It's not even corny as facts. Yeah. So keep your head up. Yeah, for sure. Really? Keep your head up. Jumpers jump. Like, yeah. if you want to do something, go do it. You have the time to I do know, it now. Yeah. Right? People, people going through like, because I know school is hard and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, people people not feeling motivated and stuff like that. But, you know, we all go through like those barriers. Mm -hmm. But take it as like as an opportunity to grow instead of like a barrier. Yeah, exactly. Like, how are you going to do this? Because I remember one time uh, last year, I was going through it all. Mm -hmm. I lost my job that i was supposed to work at mm -hmm. it's heartbreak all at once all at once but i'm like i'm like is this all you got because i know after because i know when i'm when i'm like good now mm -hmm. i'm gonna grow a lot from this yeah there's so much potential yeah that's how i think so about barriers now bro like just you can get through it bro anyone mm -hmm. can everybody can for yeah. sure it always gets better yeah. always for the better always, always for the better fam but for yeah sure. Hey, but, but they're saying to do an outro, follow us on Instagram, all that. Oh, TikTok. yeah. Subscribe, like, yeah, comment. comment. We reply to comments, okay? Yeah, we all of them. We, we're, we trying all to, we're trying to reply to everybody. Bro, if you have conspiracy theories, please DM us. We'll we'll talk. We'll try our best to talk to everyone. For real. Shout out yeah. to you guys. Yeah. You guys make it happen. Shout out to you guys. Thank you. Let's go. We out. <laughs>